Good evening, everyone. And suddenly, the finish line is very much in sight. The equation here is super simple for Wrexham. Win tonight against Yeovil and do the same here against Boreham Wood on Saturday and it's mission accomplished. And Parkinson makes two alterations to the team who drew nil-nil at the Hive. Callum McFadzine's appeal against his red card was unsuccessful earlier today. So his suspension means a return for Anthony Ford in an unfamiliar left-wing back role. In attack, Sam Dolby is preferred to Oli Palmer, who is among the substitutes. Beleaguered Yeovil manager Mark Cooper makes four changes to the team who started for the Glovers in Saturday's two-all draw at Solihull Moors. The visitors appear likely to set up in a 3-5-2 system. We're underway then on a sunny North Walian evening. As ever, 10,000 seats taken inside uh, the race course as Wrexham try and take one of those two remaining steps towards automatic promotion and Yeovil fighting for their lives. No, they have got to achieve a win against all odds to keep their dreams of survival in National League alive. Could yet be in contention for Saturday. But at the moment, Tom O'Connor filling in on that left-hand side. Here is Jones. Mullen is onside here. First chance for Paul Mullen to open up the oval defence, perhaps. Mullen's ball across. It's going to come loose. Chance for Anthony Ford coming in. Ford's shot was blocked. It was good cover. Uh, but Anthony Ford just having a sight at goal. They're getting it on his favoured right foot. First chance that Wrexham have really had a sniff. Proper defending. Uh, that's how they've got to defend all night, Yeovil. Putting the bodies on the line. It was a free shot on the edge of the box. And, and to be fair, the defender, he closed him quick and, and blocked. So he slew his body and put it on the line. Yeah. Ford just trying to get it onto his right foot. But Yeovil... Anthony Ford not getting any change out of the Peterborough Loney on that side. Wrexham can have another go with Ryan Barnett. Cannon. James Jones, who's really established himself in this midfield in the second half of this season. And Dolby gets away from Freckleton, just gets a yard. Sam Dolby lays it to Mullin. And he cannon to drive it! Well, he's yet to open his account for Wrexham Andy Cannon. It looked just for a nanosecond there, like the net might be bulging. But Will Boos delighted to watch that disappear past his post. Nice, nice build-up, uh, really patience on the ball, some good movements, some good passing. But what Wrexham are doing now as well is they're picking up a lot of second balls. So they're winning the first header, picking up the second balls, and that will create pressure. There's a decent connection from Cannon. I think Boos would have been beaten if that had been... A yard or so inside the upright, but Palmer to certainly add to the forward line. He and Dolby have generally been alternating between 60 minutes and 30 minutes or thereabouts. It goes Barnett. Good pace from Ryan Barnett, but in steps Jamie Record. And Yeovil eventually get enough numbers back to stop Ryan Barnett's progress. Here's Staunton stepping forward. Griffiths fighting hard for the ball in the middle of the park, but infringing and Lee takes the free kick quickly and now there's a chance for Mullin to cut inside here goes Paul Mullin in the end by his standards it's a weak shot and comfortable for Buse didn't catch it right at all opened up the space drove inside really really well and just didn't quite catch the strike properly there you go again he puts the keeper straight under pressure He'll be frustrated I'm sure Paul Mullin with that finish a bit below his normal standards after he got himself away Sure, it won't be his last chance of the night. Here goes Awolabori. Here's Worthington. Chance for a shot. Worthington shoots and Foster had to be alert. And Yeovil working it nicely once more. Andrew Awolabori involved in some of their best play. And Matt Worthington shot smothered by Ben Foster. A warning sign for Wrexham. Yeovil have not just come here to make up the numbers. Good positional play from Ben. Uh... And then obviously he picks up the second ball, but as you say, the man just drifted around the outside, and before you know it, he's, he's still on goal. O'Connor. Back to Ben Toza. Time again for Tom O'Connor to thread it through, and Elliot Lee's worked himself a pocket of space. It's Elliot Lee with Dolby inside him. Drilled across from Lee. It'll be a corner. And that's Elliot Lee doing Elliot Lee kind of things. Making space in that little channel. 
and creating an opportunity and Yeovil can see the corner Toza with his trademark towel a good time for Wrexham to score this five minutes before the break towards Dolby it was O'Connor's header but it was soft and it was comfortably over the bar free header free header seven yards out nobody challenging him uh, it's, it's a, actually it's, it's a better clearance than a, than a header at goal yeah, I think he'd be disappointed with that Tom O'Connor he has been a decent goal scoring option for Wrexham this season seven to his name but that never looked close no got completely underneath it never really attacked the ball he waited for the ball to come to him was it just as we look at the replay to that mark uh, a lack of of pace on it well in truth Will Buse in his second senior appearance has had a relatively easy time of it in this first half not really been tested one shot from Andy Cannon flying past his upright but that aside little to really trouble him it's half time at the race course ground and we know that Notts County's last two games both look pretty comfortable Wrexham of course have got playoff challenging Boreham Wood here on Saturday and then they finish with a trip down to Torquay United Cantoza walks this ball into all sorts of dangerous water here it comes Booz stays on his line no chance of getting the scissor kick away there for Paul Mullin uh, Yeovil pulled every man behind the ball early again there so uh, but two, two set pieces and let's hope the delivery is a little bit better than the, uh, the first half Elliot Lee to stand over this free kick then for Wrexham time for Toza back to Mullen who stayed wide left Lee can turn Cannon to his right Jones further right here's James Jones Barnett up against Linton Barnett's delivery beyond Mullen Lee couldn't quite get there forward challenging Cannon drives it deflects wide and Andy Cannon having a shot from range for the second time tonight and he's getting a bit closer here's James Jones Yeovil have really struggled to get into the Wrexham half in the first quarter of an hour of the second period but Wrexham still yet to break through Lee's ball is picked off well by record Awolabori second to that but now has the chance to break there's been a few of those today a few square passes in midfield and it's it's, it's food and drink to, to the uh, Yeovil defenders and midfielders they just step in and, and nick the ball long ball over the top that Mullen almost licked his lips at record got a boot on the end of it here it goes Jamie Jones to Mullen Mullen's got Barnett to his right he comes back the other way looking for Ford Anthony Ford cuts inside it's Ford to shoot he's done it Anthony Ford with the breakthrough the Irishman with his third of the season beats Will Buse. And is that the moment that propels Wrexham to within one win of the Football League? Finally the breakthrough on the hour. It's Wrexham 1, the Yeovil Town nil. The space opened up in front of him, he drove into it. And to be fair, I think it looked like it took a slight deflection on the way through. But hey, <laughs> who cares? Fantastic. All of a sudden there's a completely different atmosphere in the place. You could feel the relief surge around the race course. And Anthony Ford, who's had a challenging time off the field in recent weeks, responds quite brilliantly on it. Back into the side in an unfamiliar position. It's he who has found the breakthrough. It is he who's given Wrexham that foot nearer to the promised land. They've now got half an hour to hold on to the lead. Oluwabori. Trying to weave his way through, loses out to Cannon. A second goal quickly from Wrexham would surely kill the Yeovil spirit. Here goes Mullin. Chance for him to run at the defence. Mullin's delivery, looking for Dolby. Dolby just overran. It was a good ball from Mullin in truth. Just behind Sam Dolby. Perfect height and good pace. Wrexham pick it up again through Elliot Lee. Barnett's got a bit of space wide right. Dolby, Lee going for the return. Is it going to come to Elliot Lee? He gets a touch on it. Was he fouled? No, he wasn't. Mullin goes in. Can Buse get onto it? It goes over the bar in the end. Carnage in the oval penalty area. Elliot Lee feeling he was felled. We'll have another look at that in a moment. And it's a Wrexham corner. It looked to me like Lee got to the ball first. Just towed it away from him. So it's a difficult, it was really, really close. A difficult one, but I don't think he could get out of the way, to be honest, can he? Just a short time ago. 
Ollie Palmer for Sam Dolby would be perhaps a predictable like for like. Fresh legs to try and exploit, perhaps tiring Yeovil bodies at the back and less of them as they commit more forward. Dolby to Young. Here is Barnett on the overlap. Ryan Barnett into the penalty area. Good delivery. Mullen arriving. Can he get the angle? Squared across. Lee puts his foot in. Can't get it in. Second time around. Wrexham do it. And James Jones with the goal that maybe, just maybe, shuts the door on Yeovil Town tonight. Yeah, Condemns them to relegation and takes Wrexham to within one win of the title. Excellent pressure there. You know, they, they didn't give it up. They kept moving the ball. Great delayed pass for the timing of the run, which meant that as soon as he took his first touch, he was round the full-back. Clever ball in behind the defensive line. And, uh, you know, the ricochets all around, and there we are to finish it off. He always seems to score important goals, Jones. Some really looking good now. It took a time, but they've got that. I think also, I don't think uh, Wrexham can take the foot off the pedal with the with the goal difference that's still in play. I know it's in Wrexham's hands now, but you never know. If they're there for the taking now, then you, you absolutely go after them. The Notts County goal difference currently is plus 72. So another goal or two would certainly assist as we have another look at James Jones's finish here. Lee denied by Bues. But decent connection that from Jones on his left foot, drilling it home. Mullen with a chance now in space, Paul Mullen, great save from Buse, did really well. The young keeper getting down to his left when it looked like that might have been beyond him. Very, very good save. It, uh, as soon as Mullen picked the ball up, Buse, to be fair, so he backpedalled, bought himself a little bit of time. He was in a really good position to make the save and an excellent save. Here's Charlie Cooper. Gets it back from Pollock, but a little bit short from Pollock and a chance for Dolby to pick his pocket and suddenly Wrexham have a lot of space with Andy Cannon and Elliot Lee to his left Cannon's got time to pick the pass here comes Elliot Lee had to break his stride if the, if the pass was a better pass he could probably have just carried on his stride and bent it into the far corner but he just had to slow himself down and lost his balance with their season hanging by the thinnest of threads they have stayed behind their team and have seen a gutsy performance from the men in green but one which appears to be sadly from their perspective not enough to preserve their status it goes Mullen looking to try and get his 45th of the season Mullen's ball to goal scorer Jones to Barnett yet to score in red Ryan Barnett's delivery Mullen's header back across goal it's three Paul Mullen's looping header completes the job for Wrexham mission completed for the Red Dragons bring on Boreham Wood it's, it's amazing because it's the only place he could have scored with the bodies in front of him it's a fantastic header but it's all in the cross to be honest with you Barnett down that side has done exceptionally well for the last two goals so uh, it's, uh, it's not looking great for Yeovil now I'm afraid fantastic goal Superb technique from Mullin, very similar to the header he scored away at Maidenhead a few weeks ago as we just have another chance to see the replay and the ability to judge the angle and to land that in the top corner. Really an excellent technique. He can score goals with both feet and from pretty much all areas. And Paul Mullin's 45th of the season. Incredible effort from Wrexham's number 10. Andy Cannon's shift is done. Another strong performance in central midfield from Andy Cannon. And he'll get the chance just to rest his limbs for the last 11 minutes. Luke Young, very much a like-for-like -like substitution in the centre of the Wrexham midfield. And he picks up the captaincy from Bentoza. It has been a struggle for them for many weeks and they will have to rebuild in the National League South next year. Toza's throw in, looking for Dolby who gets a flick on. Yeovil managed to get it out, it's going to come out to Barnett, urged to shoot by the home fans. Hughes coming for the cross, not convincingly on this occasion, it's going to come to Toza. Nice work from Toza, might go for goal himself, Ben Toza, what an effort that was, and what a very good save it was by Will Hughes, because that was destined for the top corner. As a Yeovil manager, you wouldn't mind your goalkeeper coming there and 
because the, the guy's got a free header. I think it was uh, Dolby the post got a free header. And to be fair, the second save, you're not expecting him to go on that angle at that top near post, and he's done very, very well to keep that out. Luke Young over this corner. Elliot Lee short if he wants him. Young's delivery. Tozer again with an opportunity, blocked by record. Barnett picks up. That's the first time Wrexham have got a man across that near post to just get a glance on it. Forward by O'Connell. Paul Mullen was onside there, but it's another Wrexham corner. And Yeovil look bedraggled now. <laughs> I'm wondering whether he kicked that out for a corner on purpose because he prefers the corners than the throw-ins. <laughs> well, that's actually probably not a bad thought. Here's Luke Young. Wrexham take it quickly. Young powers it across. Young at the second attempt. Can't do a Mullen. I think Yeovil now are uh, praying for that final whistle. So as Paul Mullen is rested by Phil Parkinson for the last three minutes plus injury time, Ollie Palmer will get a belated run out. Another great shift from Paul Mullen, Mark. Yeah, sensible substitution. You know, don't take any risks whatsoever. Back with interest from Tom O'Connor. Solid again, dropping in at left centre back. Here's Ollie Palmer. Wouldn't he just love a late goal to lift his confidence ahead of Boreham Wood? Here's Young trying one from distance. And Ben Foster was off his line and he had to make the save. Really, really good vision from Young who saw the opportunity. And Ben Foster, almost embarrassed from range, does enough to concede the corner. I think as soon as he saw the loose pass in midfield, Ben's on his bike getting out of there because he's high because obviously Wrexham are in possession. As soon as he picks the ball up here, Ben's getting back. Gives himself a chance. Wrexham making it 21 wins from 22 home games. A quite astonishing record. Only Woking coming here and getting anything. And every Wrexham fan will be hoping Boreham Wood don't add to that chance for Yeovil laid on. Great save from Foster. Malachi Linton going close. And Ben Foster denying the Yeovil striker. And Ben Foster, well, he hasn't had a huge amount to do tonight. But twice in the last few minutes, he's been bang on his game. That's a fabulous save from that close range. No, it's uh, the, 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 the whole pace of the game has gone now and it's, it's almost walking football. Worthington back to record. Forward by Staunton, but that is it. Wrexham victorious by three goals to nil. Yeovil Town relegated from the National League. It was extremely competitive for an hour. Yeovil disciplined, determined, resilient. But Wrexham eventually found a way through on the hour through Anthony Ford. James Jones then doubling the lead 12 minutes later before who else? Paul Mullen making it three in the 77th minute.